Hello, hello, brothers and sisters. I took a uh, few months off of YouTube because I lost my slave J-O-B and I'm trying to get a new J-O-B. Um, I've been in some work program and I've been there for quite some time and I'm going um, to... Um, anyway, things are getting better, but I am spreading the holy science like wildfire to everyone I meet. Uh, to the point where the teacher in this back to work program, she's like, she got into, oh my gosh, she got into so many, let's say spiritual activities, uh, you know, with the assistance of, with the help of me, with the motivation of, uh, that I offered her. Um, she actually wants me to talk in auditoriums and maybe uh, school classrooms, teaching the holy science, everything from astrology, sovereignty, um, um and not just making it a lecture, like a preach-teach type thing, but, you know, to, to make it like a whole group uh, networking assignment where we all share ideas. Um, that's what she would like for me to do. And I love it. But um, anyway, I want to talk about Black Mirror, okay? Real quick, if you're a truther, you should be watching Black Mirror. Um, i not telling you what to do, but if you really, really, every episode is like... A new Twilight Zone uh, little mini movie. You don't have to keep up with the seasons and episodes, but you can watch every episode. Don't have to do it in order because every episode is a new little mini movie. It has nothing to do with the other previous um, episode. So these are some of my faves. And Archangel and Hang the DJ is what I want to be talking about right now because those two I found... Um, I watched them last night and they just hit me pretty hard... So I want to talk about Archangel and where is this? Archangel and um, Hang the DJ. First thing you need to know is that Archangel. Um, I'm not going to give anything away. I don't want to give anything away. Um, not even a synopsis. I just want to let you know Archangel deals with child psychology up to the first six years of life. All right, up to the first six years of life it deals with. Um, I think six or seven the girl was, and then it skips a Jupiter cycle and goes around 10, 11 years later um, to when she's, I think, 15 or 16. Let's just say that her first six years, six to seven years was stunted. Her first to six to seven years was stunted, okay? Because her mother had some type of, let's just say she was able to censor out any negative emotion and any negative polarity. She was able to censor out where she would see, let's just say, um, a, a blurry object. She wasn't able to see any type of anger, hate, confrontation, not even a dog barking, no um, type of emotions, no crying, no screaming, no um, depression, nothing bad at all. She was anything from the TV to in person, to even seeing her own blood, it was all censored. And it, it was censored meaning she would see blurriness. So she never got to grow with the negative polarities and the reactions, especially starting with her, can her Taurus and Cancer. Those two signs, the Taurus and Cancer, were retarded for her. Retarded, when I say retarded, it's strictly a retraction of the Taurus field. Uh, retardation, re and tor, tar, Taurus. So to retract on the Taurus field. You know, so basically uh, your Taurus field is ignorant because it's held back, hence retarded. So she was retarded, you could say, uh, up to her first six years, dealing with reaction emotions. Okay? Um, it stopped for about, like I said, 10 years. The mother lifted off that, <laughs> that part of the app in her brain so where she was able to deal with you know, uh, bad emotions and vices and, and, and see it. She was able to take it head on. But it already stunted her. It was, you know, it already stunted her growth. So child psychology up to the first six years. Now, what does this have to do with astrology? Everything. Let me just say something, all right? In creation, in the dawn of creation, with whatever, whether yourself or the very, very beginning or to a project, anything, the dawn of creation always starts with Aries, okay? Exalted sun. The sun is exalted. Next is Taurus, all right? There's the main duality division happens here. Sun, then moon, because, okay, Taurus is exalted moon, okay? I'm not going to get into Mars and Venus, but just sun starts here and then goes to moon, all right? But as you go down, 
and after you pass this obstacle right here, which is hermaphroditic, this is the hermaphroditic, even though I know there's positive, positive, polarity, masculine, but it all is very hermaphroditic. We could say this is a hermaphroditic axis. Once you get past that, okay, you get to Cancer. Then it's Moon Sun, okay? Why am I telling you this? Moon Sun, Sun Moon, and then Moon Sun, okay? Because this is Moon ruled Cancer, and then Sun ruled Leo. So, what this means is that the, the dawn of creation, spirit impregnates, spirit impregnates matter. Masculine, you could say penis goes in the vagina, binary code, one into the zero. Uh, it, that's just the way it works. It's the dawn of creation. Spirit impregnates matter. Okay, so then when you get into this part right here, so she was never truly impregnated. Uh, her mind was never truly impregnated, you could say, with um, correctly growing in a natural, symbiotic, rhythmic way. But then also you have to give birth. So basically cancer, when it comes to this part, let's say... Um, how would I phrase it? Ego, born out of the nurtured vessel. Ego is born. So when you get to Leo, again, that's the ego. Ego is born out of the moon. Sun is born out of the moon now. So Leo, when you look at your Leo, your house five, it's born out of that nurtured vessel, that liquid water vessel. So now it's an opposite. Ego goes into, or ego impregnates matter and then 